Yes, there is a lot of news here. Let me give you this because this just came out. The Pro Football Writers of America just released their award-winning uh, list here. So you have the MVP was Lamar Jackson, Christian McCaffrey, the Offensive Player of the Year, and Miles Garrett, the Defensive Player of the Year. I think there's no question all of those are correct. Yeah, I, and again, I'm not being dismissive, David. I just don't value these awards. I don't. I've never been an MVP guy. I don't live and die in those arguments. Great. Lamar deserves the MVP. No, he I'm does. a hater. Uh, I can still give props. He had the most impressive season. No, I, I think I, I give Lamar the MVP because – Outside of playing the Pittsburgh Steelers for some reason, he just lights up other teams. Like the other playoff teams that he's played, I think he's beat them all by double digits in the high-profile game. I think Lamar won the MVP Christmas night when he went into San Francisco and did what he did. It's why I thought for a second Purdy or Christian McCaffrey would get it when they went into Philadelphia and did the same thing. But, yeah, Lamar, on the biggest stage, he shines the brightest. So I have some stats here, not an A, not a B situation, but I want to give this here because I want to uh, give something here on Debo Samuel. He is dealing with an injury. They say 50-50. We should find out more later today on his injury, but huge impact difference here when he plays versus when he does not play. So when he plays, of course, they have 7.3 yards per play, 52.3% success rate. When he does not play, 5.9 yards per play, 44.3% success rate. So I think we know what we see on the field. But what I want to ask you is how much more significant is he if then Christian McCaffrey is also then banged up? Debo Samuel, 50-50. But McCaffrey didn't look 100% as well on Sunday. No, I, I think Debo's way more important. I mean... I'll say it again to you. Pre-snap alignment, jet motion, circle motion, lined up in the backfield. You are keying off of him on every snap. CMC, I know where I'm going to find you. Mm -hmm. Now, stopping him's a different thing. Right. But Debo's the differentiator. Debo's the key to everything they do. Right. Yeah, CMC is running to the left. He's running behind Williams. And that's pretty much it. But Debo... He forces accountability. Debo lets you know, okay, are we in man? Are we in zone? Because you, he's that guy that you need to circle and know where he's at at all times. And, yeah, when he's not there, that's also Purdy's blanket. When he's not there, you saw Purdy had to find somebody. He found Jennings the last game on the final drive, but it was a struggle for the entire game until he found Jennings. So the Green Bay Packers have made it official. They have fired their defensive coordinator, Joe Barry. Don't know why it took so long after the season. Should have been done Monday. Your thoughts? I think Joe Barry's been garbage for years. Don't understand it. They've been handed how many first-round picks? They've dedicated how much salary cap space? And yet the Packers, anytime they've ever needed a big stop, they don't get it, including last week again. Brock Purdy going right down the field. When they need a big stop, they don't get it. I think had they won that game, he would have been back. Sure he would have. But, but it would have been just enough like, oh. Needed a big stop. Yeah. Needed a big stop. Never, never do they come up with it. No. Got to make a change. So here's what I want to do because uh, we're in a weird spot here in Detroit. Usually by now we have gone through so many mock drafts, so many scenarios of, oh, you want to go after this player? No. You want to go after that player already in full offseason mode? This is great that we're not. We're not in that, but I do want to talk about teams that are in offseason mode mm. and what they may do with this player. Okay. Let's talk with Steph Diggs. Is I get, he out I get of rid Buffalo? Of you know, I saw something that was really fascinating, fellas. You know Shakir, the kid from Boise State that they drafted? Mm -hmm. So in half the targets, this is the second half of the season, half the targets, he had double the production. So Steph Diggs had 80 targets. Shakir had 40 targets. Steph Diggs dropped the game winner. Mm -hmm. Steph Diggs has become this weird line of scrimmage receiver. Yeah, I think that... You know what it is? Gotta go. You know what it is? I, I, he's, he's, he's almost... Um, He's not hungry. He's not hungry anymore. Whereas before, he was out there. He wanted to be the man. He's made his money now, and now he's just kind of, eh, you know, I'll, I'll see what I can do. It's 
I'm not saying he's like this, but it's almost being like James Harden of the NFL. Where what, clinically insane? You just go from team to team to team thinking, well, it's the other team's fault What that they just didn't know how to use me so right. So you've described Kevin Durant. Oh, who then yes. wants to know, why is he not in the conversation yes. as the greatest of all time? Yeah, whereas okay. you keep going from team to team thinking, well, it was the previous teams just didn't know how to use me Steph correctly. Steph Diggs to the Cowboys. Oh, okay. You know that's where it's I'm glad up. you said that, though. Don't play because, with his brother. Because he has a number one there. He could be number two. Is he a number one anymore? Because the GM, I thought it was strange for him to say this, end of your presser, says that, yes, I still believe he could be a number one. David, you have to say it because if you plan on moving a guy, what you can't do is treat him as a wet wipe. Very true. Yeah. You got to keep your asset and the resale value see, high. So he's not Alavito. No, no, no. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, oh. think, I think he could. What did you say? I said, so he's not Alavito. <laughs> I think he Nobody could, wanted Castellanos. What do you want me to do? He could be a number one, but I don't think he's willing to put in the work to be the number one anymore. He just goes out there and rests and be like, hey, remember me, Steph? Here's the remember other when thing. I was a Viking? Got to no. do it. Woohoo! I'm a cowboy! Josh Allen's extension starts this year. Hope you enjoyed paying him $10 million bucks. The new number, 47.3. Woo, buddy. Next guy on the oh, list. I'm going to throw it downfield. Yeah. Is this guy going to get traded? Devonta, Devonte Adams. I hope for his sake. But you know what? If anybody can reel him back in and get him to believe Antonio Pierce is that guy, I, I'm i going to say no. I think Antonio Pierce being retained helps. And they and actually will get you a quarterback. And they were on solid footing the last six weeks of the season. Need to have a good offseason. They got to figure out something at QB. I'm not looking for a superstar, but it can't be Aiden O'Connell. I'll say no. No, I mean, what if they went off and got somebody like a uh, Kirk Cousins? Would that be I, good enough? I just enough? have a hard time with Cousins in Vegas. All that wholesome BS right. that ain't going to fly out right. there. You know, you don't have to worry about him going out doing anything hey, we nefarious. Just lost the playoff game. I'm going to go read a Bible story. I don't think that's a fit for Vegas. Yeah, maybe Vegas needs some more Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> Less debauchery. More Bible reading. Good luck. <laughs> Next two guys on the list play for the same team, Joey Bosa and Mike Williams. Either I mean, no. Mike Williams is radioactive because he's never healthy. Correct. The Joey Bosa thing is interesting. I mean, it's clear Nick is the better Bosa. Joey's paid like Nick, but I never feel like I get. Look, part of it is, too, who's the coach? Mm -hmm. Who's the GM? You know, that is an aging roster a little bit. They do have some cap issues. Uh, I'll, I'll say if you're forcing a choice between the two, I'd say Bosa because I don't think Mike Williams is marketable. See, I don't know. I think you could probably get somebody to bite on Mike Williams. Who's that, a chiropractor? No, like a lesser team. Like, well, I'm trying to think. Does the Panthers have any draft a picks lesser available? Team. <laughs> but no, I mean, he would end up going to like one of the bottom teams or – you know, I saw that the Patriots are willing to spend a ton of money. Maybe you can't get everybody you want, but right now you may be able to get Mike Williams to buy into the Patriots and and see what you have for a year or two. Yeah, that fits well. Mike Williams, Patriots. Dude, he's, no, got, no, no. he's got Tyson Chandler's spine. I, I can't. I can't pay this cat. I'm just saying you pay him for a two-year deal is what I'm saying. Well, right. he's already getting paid high enough. I was going to say, I'm out. Yeah, last guy on the list, he's a running back, Alvin Kamara. No interest. Why, David? We don't pay running backs. So. Yeah. Yep. No interest. What am I giving up for him? Half it hit would be $18.9 million. And they couldn't figure out how to use him in New Orleans. Dennis Allen, Derek Carr. I mean, I, I, what do I want? Running back headed towards 30? $18 million a year? No, absolutely not. But what if he went to the Texans? No. Oh, hell no. I'm out. and Pierce, I'll be fine with just that. I'm Bro, not I remember now, Pierce lost his gig to Devin Singletary. He did. He did. We, which is why we don't pay running backs. Damn right. Uh, I'm, out. Him. I'm out on Kamar. Okay. Really? I want nothing to do with that. $18 million? Please. It's about $12 million higher than I'd pay him. I'm out. But it's not our money, but I get what you're saying. Pay him I in, can't, uh, I can't. whatever he needs to get those dreads fixed. And that well, is well. Well, what? you know what? I forgot they did get uh, our guy down there too. So you know, oh, they already he... have their guy, Jamal Williams. Yeah, Jamal Williams. Oh, it's funny. I didn't see him all year. <laughs> That's what you get for bleeping all over the city. You and that little pet poopadoo hat, or whatever that thing's called. Pikachu. <laughs>
Poopadoo. <laughs> that is in football. Guys, 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 hey.